Welcome to Matters Financial and Geopolitical from a Frontier. I trust uh, the weekend was great. Uh, certainly, in Nairobi it had been so quiet and so pleasant you could get anywhere in about two minutes. Um, but certainly busier this morning. I'd like to thank Sami, Sami Zedan of uh, Al Jazeera for inviting me to participate um, in a discussion about whether land reform can be a success, referencing Zimbabwe. Um, it was a very interesting and lively conversation. Derek uh, Matsiak, senior researcher at the Institute for Security Studies in Pretoria, myself and Joseph Occhieno, a commentator on African affairs uh, and a columnist for New Africa magazine. That link is uh, the first link on rich wrap-ups. Currency markets, well, a lot happened on Friday, didn't it? We had a very strong uh, non-farm payroll number. And then we had a, 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 a Federal Reserve governor who, who adjusted his, his linguistics, that's for sure. Euro dollar 114.27, dollar index 95.962. Japanese yen got as low as 108.05 this morning, but seems to have ticked, uh, dollar yen seems to have ticked up a little bit since then. Swiss franc 0.9841, the pound 127.50, the Aussie 0.7133, that has staged a big recovery from the flash crash. India rupee 69.4043, South Korean won 11.1783, the real 371.55, Egyptian pound 17.871, South African rand 13.94. Dollar index, this is a one year chart, we're just below 96. I remain bullish as I have consistently for a while. Euro dollar, two charts for you one from T Commodity, we're last at 114.27. We've been range bound between 112.80 and 114.80 for quite a while. And here's another very fancy chart from Sun Chartist. Getting close, Bitcoin is at the precise point of a pattern breakout that a market plays chicken with truth, says Peter L. Brent. Gold at 1289.10, crude oil at $48.64, that's staging a little bit of a recovery. Chi Girl, who I follow, is looking for 50. Emerging markets, a bill to remove four zeros from the national currency was presented to the government by the central bank. This is in Iran. And I hope this matter can be concluded as soon as possible, said the central bank governor. Um, the currency was trading at 110,000 rials per dollar on the unofficial market, uh, dropped more than 60% last year. Billionaire tycoon Vijay Malia, who was once known as the king of good times, was declared a fugitive economic offender by an Indian court. He was the owner of Kingfisher Beer and head of the Force India Formula One team, currently in the United Kingdom. 